Hello everyone, welcome to Chess Visor. In today's video, I am going to show you another interesting chess game played between Vidit Sandos, Gujarati and Gugesh and it was from the FIDE candidates round number 8 and if you are watching this channel for the first time, please consider uh, subscribing to this channel. Without much delay, now let's get started. With the white pieces, Vidit starts the game with the 1 e4 and uh, Gugesh plays pawn to e5. So opening wise, we are seeing the Italian opening and the variation wise, it is two knights defense now. But after pawn to d3, it is called a modern bishop show opening. And here I, uh, I have mark like uh, bishop e7, bishop c5 and pawn h6. These are the most commonly played moves in this position. But in the game, uh, Gugesh played this rare continuation that is pawn to a6. Sometimes, uh, you know, all of these moves will transpose to each other, but not in this game. Castles pawn to h6, uh, pawn to a4, securing the bishop's post. And here you could uh, play pawn c3 as well to save the bishop. So, but in the game, pawn to a4, bishop c5, and then bishop e3 immediately challenging that. Pawn to d6, opening the bishop's diagonal as well as defending the bishop. Knight bd2, castles by Kugesh, and then pawn c3, boxing out the knight. And not only that, in the future or in the near future, you could expect pawn to d4 on and uh, pawn to, uh, b4, b4 as well. So rook to e8 and then pawn to b4 immediately kicks the bishop but now the bishop you know exchanges itself on e3 square after f takes e3 uh, in general when you have this kind of weakness uh, this weakness is actually not a you know, great weakness for you in fact it is considered a good uh, uh, pawn for you know covering this d4 and uh, f4 square so like uh, white having the plan of you know bringing the knight to f5 via knight f4 knight g3 and then knight f5 and black will also try to put the knight on, uh, you know, h5 and then to pawn to, sorry, knight to f4. So this is being stopped by playing this, uh, you know, uh, or doubling this pawn. And one more thing, you have a semi-open file to work with and already the bishop and the rook is converging on f7 square. And, and also, another uh, small plan for white is to bring the queen to e1 square and to g3. And then uh, we do not have the dark square bishop here. And if you have, and it will be useful sometimes later. And also the knight can move to h4 and then to come to f5 and already uh, like uh, most like knight to h6 or knight to <coughs> g7 sometimes sacrifice so you know everything uh, is a uh, good for uh, uh, for for white here after this so these are the small small plans you could uh, play in this setup but in the game bishop e6 just immediately you know putting pressure on the you know strong bishop so pawn to b5 knight b8 and then bishop takes e6 rook takes e6 so maybe the rook can go to g6 now so queen to c2 are connecting the rooks and then knight bd7 so so the knight wants to go to you know the knight uh, uh, actually the knight was developed to c6 square in order to protect the e5 and now there is no need of you know protecting the e5 because the d6 is taking care and also uh, white have uh, you know advanced his uh, c3 pawn or the c pawn but now you, it is your chance to involve your c pawn so that is the main reason why people move this knight to somewhere and then to remain to in a better square as well as paving the way for the c pawn so pawn to d4 expanding the center queen to e8 and then rook a e1 so once uh vidit plays this move now gugesh realizes that that is this open file he can occupy now so he plays a takes b5 after a takes b5 he immediately uh, targets that weak pawn which gains the time for black pawn to c4 defending it but now comes the move queen to a8 so queen to a8 is Simply doubling the major file on the A file, which is the only open file to work with. And after pawn to H3, and here, uh, here there is no point in uh, playing rook to G6 or having the rook on E6. Uh, the rook will be very happy along this uh, A file. So now, Gugesh will try to read out the knight. H3, rook E8, back to the uh, E8 square. King H2. And here, uh, this is the moment where uh, Vidit could have played pawn to C5. Say, for example, pawn to C5 is a, is a critical move in this position. It's uh, after rook takes b5, you could take on d6 and uh, weaken the pawn structure. And uh, black is having this um, uh, isolated pawn on the b7 square, uh, which would be easy for uh, white to target and uh, work with that. But in the game, what happened? Uh, he played a king h2, which allowed Gugesh to play this pawn to b6 move, which stops immediately pawn c5. Now you cannot play c5. If you play c5, then Rook a2 is there, so you have to respond for this, and then after queen b3, b takes c5, d takes c5, and then knight can take the pawn. This is the problem, and already black is considered winning this position. But in the game, uh, rook f2 was played to just cover this uh, second rank, I guess. So rook a2 anyway, queen d3, and then rook a3, gaining time. 
queen b1 queen to a4 paving the way for the another rook to join the uh, a5 and also forming the alakine gun knight h4 and then rook a8 so already as you can see black is you know dominating the a file and also he is slightly better and after knight to f5 uh, he finds a great square for the knight king f8 was played and then rook e f1 is doubling on the f file maybe some uh, uh, the knight cannot move uh, you know far away because there are some sacrifices you can expect rook a1 it forces an exchange here actually and that was the better choice for uh, white but in the game he avoided the exchange by playing queen to d3 and <clears throat> if you exchange the queens here there's a queen takes a1 queen takes a1 rook takes a1 rook takes a1 you are allowing the rook to uh, you know uh, sit on the a file but the problem is uh, you don't have uh, more piece to you know put pressure on the weakness of uh, white's uh, backward pawns or weak pawns and also there is no entry point for your knights that's what i have marked here so you don't have a great square for the knight to remaneuver and come into the uh, white's camp to attack so in that way if you exchange the queen in this uh, queens and the one pair of rooks and that is the way to go but in the game he avoided that queen exchange queen d3 queen b4 now he forces the exchange now rook takes a1 rook takes a1 and then pawn to c5 this is the what is it the first and last mistake of the game i would say because after pawn to c5 you are allowing this uh, b takes c5 and now that uh, after let's say uh, the knight is uh, is going to under attack uh, by rook to a2 move so here instead of uh, playing pawn to c5 he thought okay the the square is there for the knight but then from there where is this knight is going is not clear so the right way to uh, continue the game for uh, for white the best move for this uh, or in this position this is queen to c2 the idea is that okay you are actually inviting rook a3 <coughs> not rook a2 so rook a3 rook c3 is an idea now we could cover that square uh, maybe for uh, for a while after rook b3 knight d2 anyway rook c3 and then queen d1 queen b2 putting a lot of pressure on this second rank and then queen f1 to guard the uh, uh, rook as well as you are just waiting rook c2 and then queen d1 and then rook c1 queen e2 so this is completely playable and uh, black is slightly better and uh, you could press forward uh, uh, with the most like uh, pawn to h5 and then pawn to g6 ideas so but in the game what happened this is a better variation when we compare this variation with the uh, variation was to, uh, played in the game so pawn to c5 this is a losing move in the in, the, in this part because after b takes c5 he plays knight c4 that is a problem instead of that he could have tried another another move actually guges is you know kind of eagerly waiting to put the queen on e1 and then queen to g1 and for some reason um, with it simply played knight c4 which allowed queen e1 queen g1 idea so instead of that he could have played knight f3 which would cover e1 as well as uh, g1 in this case uh, let's say pawn c4 is the best move queen c2 and then queen takes b5 queen c3 creating a little blockade queen b1 and then knight g3 covering all the squares and uh, saving the king here rook a4 and then rook c2 and then knight to d2 he could uh, use easily target that pawn and the game would continue but what happened in the game he played knight c4 which allowed uh, the queen e1 queen g1 idea so rook e2 because the rook is uh, hanging so queen g1 check king g3 and now he, the king is already in the mating pattern it's very simple knight h5 check king h4 was straight knight df6 a very calm move and still even after this calm move you cannot save the mate this is because uh, maybe <clears throat> uh, in the opening i said uh, this is the pawn uh, which which would uh, help you to you know cover this uh, square i was telling like that but now this is the pawn which you which is not allowing you to go to the or uh, the the queen is not allowed to go to the other side of the board to you know uh, save the king the knight takes h6 was tried but then there is no point in capturing the knight so that would uh, you know simply waste the time so he plays queen h2 threatening made in one so knight f5 covering that square rook f1 you expect you can expect a brilliant sacrifice now uh, because you cannot move the knight if you move the knight there is mate so he plays pawn to g4 securing the knight or cementing the knight but then rook takes f5 a brilliant rook sacrifice is happening after e takes f5 and then queen g3 check after king g5 after knight to h7 check in this position with its gutarati simply represent the game it's because it's just made in one you have to accept this sacrifice and then queen takes h3 is a beautiful checkmate along the h5 so this is why he resigned at 38th move and he was having around uh, three minutes in his clacks and gugesh was having 13 minutes in his clacks before reaching the time control and uh, with it you know uh, resign the game 
so i hope you enjoy this quick review and uh, this was an uh, interesting and exciting game after this or after this win for gugesh uh, now he, he has joined the uh, leader board uh, with uh, along with kian uh, nepomnashi with the five points so uh, it's so exciting now uh, and we are not sure still who is going to become the candidate uh, uh, let's see what happens next still if you are not subscribed to just by sir please consider subscribing to it and also press the bell icon to get uh, notified instantly uh, as usual this is just wiser your wise choice to improve your chess